do you think about marked cards? Um, I think when used in the right situation, they're very powerful. It's a very intelligent answer. Unfortunately, not all magicians share the same view. In fact, a lot of magicians think that using marked cards are cheating. Is cheating. You're a cheater if you use marked cards because you're not fancy with the classic passness. Cheating. Cursed. In fact, if I were to ask you to look at the back, could you notice anything about them? Nope, they look the same. We'll tell you what. I'm going to have you help me out. I'm going to riffle down. I want you to say stop. Stop. Cut the cards. I have a Sharpie. We're going to mark this card in two ways. The first way, we're going to mark it with your signature. So take the Sharpie, and I'm going to have you put your signature, your DG, right on the five of hearts. Excellent. Oops. All right. And I need you to help out. Hold out your hand for me. We're going to take your five that has one mark on it, which is your... DG. Your DG. And watch. If I rub, we get the second mark. In fact, if I take it, just like that, it is fully marked. And that is how I do all my tricks. Hmm. Take the pen for me. I'm gonna have you mark the card by signing your name right across the face. Or you can put your initials or draw a little picture. <sighs> All right, tell you what, hold out your hand for me. So you mark the face, I'm gonna mark the back so I can find it, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently, okay? <sighs> Did you see that? Look, feel it. How does it feel? Like a card? Like a card, right. Look, if I blow. Oh. And now this card is completely different from all the other cards in the deck. What the f***? it very easy to find. Check it out. You put like so, you colored that one red, but it was supposed to be blue. Yeah. Mm-hmm.